Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with another modeling video. Today we'll be reviewing the UM Models 72nd Christie T3M 1931, one of the earliest American tanks or tankettes, which was exported out to Russia and the suspension system used throughout English and T series tanks well into the Second World War. UM is one of these Eastern European model companies. They seem to use an older style of injection molding method of making kits and target more obscure subjects of modeling. They're made in smaller numbers and are very difficult and hard to acquire from hobby shops and normally uh, quite expensive. I paid uh, well over $30 for this uh, model though just the sheer look and decals uh, inspired me enough to uh, jump at it. We're given five green runners, photo etch parts and decals. It appears that this kit has been modified from one of the T-series tanks and reboxed as the Christie, which wouldn't take that much effort except for uh, new tracks and a front. The instructions look to be extremely cluttered and to tell the truth very difficult to follow. I needed some help from step by step by referring to reference material and photos of other people's models or the real tank just to get the orientation of the pieces right. If you're not into fiddly um, kits and small pieces, this is definitely not for you. The kit immediately jumps straight into the uh, box chassis, uh, sticking the pieces up one by one, um, which you need to allow a bit of time to dry. Uh, fitting is already immediately an issue lot of uh, mucking around and going into the suspension and wheel section lots and lots of flash imperfection cleaning uh, lots of work I've uh, spent quite a few days at club meetings just uh, slaving away and studying the instructions two to three times uh, the build definitely did not flow at all nonetheless the sheer Difference, interest and unusual texture and detail of the kits uh, kept me brave and I continued to go. Once the box was assembled, uh, putty or squadron was immediately used to fill all the gaps, a uh, bit of cleaning work. And the brass or bronze photo etch parts were bent and glued into shape extremely clever how they go together and uh, show off the uh, vents and amazing bit of detail they were just so much fun to do and put together unfortunately uh, with all the sweat and tears going into this this is the only 72nd Christie ca uh, tank kit out there at the present moment assembling and gluing on the tracks was uh, a true terror and hell on earth I did not quite get it right and it is slightly lopsided but uh, good enough for finishing and displaying at uh, my satisfactory level I wouldn't be able to enter in the competition with our final detail bits and pieces and the uh, turrets this thing just fell together and was ready for prime and cleanup work to me, a lack of primer via airbrush was my choice of uh, primer, and once in one uh, single piece, I was quite happy with the structure. It definitely looks like a very unique and interesting piece. Luckily, the uh, box gave in extreme detail and numbering what colours and uh, paints to use to uh, get the brown schemed correct. Uh, Gunzi and a bit of uh, Tamir was my choice of paint. The paint job being quite flat looking, I had a little play with uh, shading and uh, different toning at different angles for an interesting effect and went right into town of weathering through dry brushing, inking and other techniques. The decals, even though a tad thick, went on like a dream and everything was sealed through a flat coat. In the end, 
and it was an absolute struggle to get this thing built and uh, put together to an okay satisfactory finish. Uh, I did see a couple other people build this kit a lot nicer than I did out there, but it does not have a very strong uh, presence. Weathering was definitely overdone a little too much. Uh, one or two points to hide some mistakes, though most of it was just a slight error on my behalf. But being uh, pre-war, muddy, leaving World War I conditions, I was uh, very satisfied. I think it looks alright and cool. Played on some details and uh, definitely an extremely unique, different and unusual piece to my collection. I'm very happy how I've uh, built this and the fact that I just uh, own it in my lineup of uh, 70 second subjects. I'm not 100% sure I'm prepared to uh, recommend this, uh, at least with a warning of uh, the sheer workmanship that needs to be invested and uh, the type of uh, kit it is from that end of the world of uh, manufacturing. If uh, you must have this piece, it is available, though very difficult to acquire, maybe some on uh, eBay and around, but uh, sadly can't hold your breath. Thank you very much for watching and of course next time I'll uh, continually review and uh, build 70 second armor as well as tanks, tutorials and other fun content. Catch you guys next time.